These days we are celebrating the winter solstice. The passage grave in the World Historical Site in Newgrange, County Meath was constructed 5,000 years ago. The people who built it were preoccupied with winter, darkness and death. Above the entrance to the passage there is a small opening through which the sun shines during the winter solstice and its rays penetrate some 50 feet into the dark inner chambers. What they built was a reminder that in the darkest of corners, light will always shine. The darkening skies, longer nights, announce the winter. For a child, it's a time for Santa, a time to look forward to opening the Christmas gifts, a time to enjoy a stroll in a Christmas-lit city, or a time of wishing for a white Christmas. There can be a special energy in midwinter, but as adults, we need reminders of the richness in this time of year. Today's Gospel gives us Mary as a reminder of the true meaning of Advent and Christmas. While we are waiting for the celebration of the birth of Christ on Christmas Day, Mary is like the light that shines in the darkest corner of the New Grange chamber. She invites us to pause in the darkness of this winter time and to focus not on herself, but on her inner chamber where she carries Christ. The Gospel tells the story of Mary visiting Elizabeth, her cousin. She had set out on a long journey, and when the cousins met, immediately the child that Elizabeth was carrying recognised Jesus. The moment is summed up so beautifully in the poem by Ruth Mary Fox called Carrying Christ. Into the hillside country Mary went, carrying Christ, and all along the road the Christ she carried generously bestowed his grace on those she met. She had not meant to tell she carried Christ. She was content to hide his love for her, but about her glowed such joy that into stony hearts love flowed, and even to the unborn John, Christ's grace was sent. The response to the psalm today could be Mary's prayer for us, and our prayer as we contemplate this special moment. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. Our liturgy today is inviting us back, back to rediscover God living among us, whatever our circumstances may be now. The reading from the Old Testament shows us Bethlehem, the most ordinary of places, but here Jesus will be born in poverty. Relatives visiting, people coming home, people who are without a home, are all part of Christmas. And here, as it was for Mary and Elizabeth, it's where we find God. Mary's visit to Judea, and later her going to Bethlehem, celebrate the God who is faithful to the poor and to those who reach out to others. In the words of Patrick Havana about his own mother, Mary reminds us, among your earthiest words, the angels stray.